What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with an exciting video on the Dark Dimension 6 investment. So uh, for folks that, of you that are preparing here and getting ready to enter into Dark Dimension 6, I uh, definitely would recommend watching this beforehand so that way you can see how uh, this is going to truly impact your account overall. And as well, uh, maybe there's some goals in the game that you're not aware of that, that you want to take advantage of for sure, right? But this is a follow-up to my, my previous video actually on the big Apocalypse investment. And again, I'm not arguing here for or against. I, I just love bringing these facts as an overview so that way um, this ideally can help you guys make the best uh, decision for your account as well as navigating what the true impact of uh, the apocalypse investment versus dark dimension six going forward so um, yeah let's get right into it then you know first and foremost uh, what's required for dark dimension six um, it's gonna be a similar format that we've seen with the previous dark dimensions right uh, which is you know constructed based on different traits as well as having a legendary non-legendary section on top of that uh, we also have um, you know, Gear Tier 18 being the newest um, and, and, and latest upgrade here. So this is truly one of the biggest constraints. You need 20 ca characters at least in the bare minimum with the Gear Tier 18. Uh, and typically right now, the only way we've seen this come about is through the incursion rates that you're doing, um, purchasing manually from the supply store using gold, or uh, even in the milestone events that we've seen. Uh, more specifically, I think we've seen, been seeing this better come through the monthly events, which has been nice. But again, you need to capitalize and stay on top of the events to take advantage of that gear uh, reward. The other one that's required is Apocalypse. You need Apocalypse as a character because it was designed for him being able to be playing in it, especially in the global section. I would say it's um, you know uh, it's a it's a true slugfest getting through the global section, and then we're talking like. 15 20 plus attacks um you know easily on a node if you don't have apocalypse so uh also his value right uh he can be used in three different sections of dark dimension six that includes the any trait the global as well as the legendary horseman so just like uh you're gonna get, be getting immense value even if you utilize baby apocalypse which is who i you brought in for the dark dimension six run um and it's been huge uh, just having his presence and his abilities is a game changer and then last but not least here um we need an insane amount of resources so it's all across the board here if you want to uh, be diving into this this end game goal uh it's combination of gold catalyst uh training gear gear um, gear tiers and so forth but i mean this re actually requires planning you need to be strategic in the different characters that you're bringing in because it can be very easily a bottleneck that you can set on your account that you're going to be dreading on uh day after day week after week so uh we have not seen this kind of constraint in the game in the previous dark dimensions, which is why it's extremely important to actually prioritize planning who you want to bring in, uh, even planning to bring in a, uh, a character that's not as valuable uh, could be more strategic. Um, if, for example, how I brought in Ravager Stitcher because I needed tech gear to save on my uh, my cosmic character. So um, that is actually a strategy, you know, uh, planning how that looks like and the characters that you're planning to bring in as well as who's going to be uh, ultimately bringing you to the finish line is, is of utmost importance. Um, why invest? You know, why does this game mode matter? And that, I think that's that's one of the big questions that you need to ask yourself if you're going to be uh, going down this rabbit hole because uh, it's a super end game goal. I mean, you shouldn't be looking at Dark Dimension 6 unless you've had a really good handle in all your other alliance activities, all the other game modes that you're interested in. Um, you know, if you're competitive in arena and war and as well as uh, ensuring that you're doing pretty good on your raids, uh, this is a game mode where uh, it's pretty hard to prioritize above the other game modes just because those other ones occur frequently and remember uh dark dimensions uh they only reward you twice and that's it uh so um you know it's that's why it's great to understand why you want to be doing this but i mean first and foremost uh the biggest reason is because you'll be unlocking arguably the best character in the game right now and that's super score right um you know he's next to big apocalypse in terms of importance but um i think there's only been a few hundred players that have actually unlocked them even though uh i think we're nearing like you know, almost half a year here uh, since his release. So I mean, it, that's pretty. Uh, it's pretty. Um, you know, insane to think about how how much of a, a bottleneck has been to for the gear tier 18s. But yeah, I mean, uh, the good news is that if you guys are unlocking him within a year, he'll likely still be uh, a hot commodity because a lot of players won't have him in the mainstream yet. So uh, he's a huge advantage in all game modes. Uh, he's in the current arena team meta, so that's going to help you get more higher power cores. But he's just a super fun character to use. Uh, I, I, I can't wait to unlock him. I mean, I'm still working through my Dark Dimension 6 progression, but um, just reading his kit and just the synergies he can have, the, the amount of theory crafting he can, he can be 
placed in with all, all these different teams is super fun to see. And I think that's one of the big things, right? And for me, it is a big end game goal. Dark Dimension has always been a passion because uh, to me, it's like the equivalent of, you know, a fantasy team that you can build up and, and the amount of strategy. Um, the beauty of it is that you don't need a, a, a one slot team. Actually, most teams in the game aren't typically in the same trade so it'll be pretty hard and difficult to do that but uh it encourages theory crafting it encourages uh folks to invest in certain team synergies and, and to see how that plays out with the the abundance of enemies that we're up against wave after wave and then um yeah and keep in mind too um the biggest investment after doing so is uh we're well, gonna get 20 powerful upgrade star roster i mean i i've already noticed that when i was finishing up the any traits and global section uh, um, I got huge additions to my roster. I brought up, you know, Captain America, Captain Carter, who added to my raid value. Uh, bringing up Val, bringing up Kestrel, um, they just made my game all around better. Actually, Val's the difference maker for how I was able to get through the Mystic Nodes uh, in the Incursion raid. Right? So, I mean, you're just getting value all across the board. Kang was a big one for me um, because I could actually use him in the tech section as well for incursions. So at the end of the day, um, it's a big investment on this end game mode. But let's not forget, uh, we are upgrading 20 powerful characters to our roster that can be used in incursions, raids, uh, war, crucible. Uh, all around, it does make our roster better. Um, so let's not forget about that. It's the This is basically the green light for us to pull the trigger on those characters. And I think that sometimes lost in the noise when you when you think about how heavy of an investment dark dimension six is so uh similar to my last video i like uh, facts i like putting numbers together and putting everything as a comparison um just because we can actually see apples to apples and and you know how this is going to truly impact your account right so in the three columns i have here i have the big apocalypse investment which is the bringing up of the 23 characters from uh gear tier 16 uh, to 17 which you need to actually get through big apocalypse as well as isolate blue but that's not covered here we also have the start of dark dimension six in the middle there which is the first five and then finally we have um the full 20 characters investment um to the far right uh assuming that you bring in 20 characters no more no less so uh it allows us to compare apples to apples now on how um the cost is overall across the board so i mean if you can take a look at right uh 68 million gold is going to be required to just bring up and ultimately unlock big apocalypse um to start dark dimension 6 you need about 21 million to bring five characters and to wrap up dark dimension 6 you're going to need an ending total of 84 million so uh the reason i have these numbers populated here so that way you guys can actually take a look at your your account as well and see how you're doing for resources um there's definitely some big ones i want to talk about the the catalysts are something that's not mentioned too often uh it's kind of lost in the noise when you when everyone's you know focused on gold focused on training materials um focused on the fact that you know the isolate blue is definitely a constraint to unlock big apocalypse but yeah i mean um yeah at the end of the day uh the catalysts are kind of lost in this uh in, in this because of the fact that i don't think we focus on it too much um with everything else going on but you can just see how hefty it is 20 characters needs 30,000 of these um, basic catalysts for Teal. We need almost 11,000 health catalysts and 10,000 for focus. Now, the good news is you, the, the beauty of Dark Dimension 6 is it's a marathon and, and not a sprint. You can start with five characters and slowly work to way um, um, as you're progressing through uh, the months, right? Like I started, I think, uh, end of June, early July. And I'm still trucking through it. And now it's October. Uh, so I, I, over that time, I've built up gold. Over that time, I've built up catalysts and, and training materials. But let's not forget, too, um, what is going to matter in your end game mode, right? And and the reason why I have this next to the big apocalypse investment here is so that way you can see apples to apples of, you know, what does big apocalypse cost? versus dark dimension six if you're planning to bring up those 23 characters right um big apocalypse is half of the dark dimension six uh catalyst it's half of the health catalyst half of the uh, almost half of the uh the focus catalyst um and as well the training materials too it's a big portion right so um actually yeah i, I would say it's actually using more um in proportion to the the resources because you're bringing up uh, look at all those resources that are needed right so at the end of the day guys um you have to make that decision on what's best for your account. And you and the good news is you can look at these numbers and compare it back to your account and see how that does overall. But as you can see, um, that's why it's a big investment. I did this math earlier on and I determined that it was not feasible for my account 
um, to unlock Big Apocalypse. So I went ahead. I proceeded with Dark Dimension 6 uh, because it is one of the more uh, interesting and passionate goals of mine when I'm going through it, especially when I'm free to play. I want to see if I can get it done and if I can uh, rank as a free to play player and see how other free to plays uh, uh, do as well. But on top of that, guys, uh, before you even decide Big Apoc Apocalypse and Dark Dimension 6, at the end of the day, um, you got to take a step back and, and, you know, ask these questions, right? What is your goal in the game? You know, um, because at the end of the day, the, the other modes don't matter. Arena, Raids, War, Crucible, depending on how competitive your alliance is, all those game modes matter. New events don't matter. Um, there's new legendary events coming out. There's new characters coming out, teams. You know, most recently, we got the Pegasus team announced. Finally, Iron Man Infinity War is here um, to, to lend us hand for our tech raids and incursions. But we have to have, I guess, in a, re a reserve as well to make sure that we have this uh, opportunity to also, you know, play other game modes and events that are happening while being mindful of this advancement impact, right? And then lastly, guys, uh, the big thing I wanted to mention as well is uh, updates, right? There's a new progression system coming. So ideally, um, this gear tier requirement um, for the gear, uh, ideally, it should be less scarce. We should be getting more of these resources farmable so that way it's not as constrained. That way, that way we're not having to decide so much. But um, yeah, uh, overall, um, please take a look at your account. Please review what your goals are because at the end of the day, I think all these are really important. Big, big Apocalypse is important, uh, Dark Dimension is important, but so do all the other game modes. And at the end of the day, uh, it really just depends on your goals. And that's kind of why I took a step back and, and proceeded with Dark Dimension, because uh, for me, um, Big Apocalypse would have been fun, but I, I'm more excited about the strategy involved in Dark Dimension. Even if I don't have the upper hand with Big Apocalypse, I really actually enjoyed the global section and kind of you know um unweaving that puzzle with the team i had and plus baby apocalypse so i hope this helps you guys give a get a summary of the cost and, and then the true impact but remember um everything in this mode is a marathon uh we don't need to be rushing through it and at the end of the day um you know we are going for that big uh prize which is super scroll himself and and at the end of the day remember um 20 characters gear tier 18 apocalypse and effective resource planning is what's going to bring you to the finish line so thank you as always you guys do let me know what you think in comments below i always appreciate hearing back and i'll catch you guys in the next one